hello, hello, hello. This is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X Elsewhere. And it's time to continue. Cassie Rain, the director's cut. Now, we had just got done speaking to, uh... What's his face? <laughs> um... Oh, that's Charles Wade. Alright, so now we're off to... Time to talk with uh, Isaac again. Hello, Isaac. I've got a few more questions for you. I'm all ears, my child. Okay. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? I don't recognize that name, no. Alright. Do you know anything about an art theft at the Wade Estate in the 80s? I have just a vague memory of reading about it in the paper. Hmm. Okay. Guess that doesn't give us much. That's all I need for now, Father. May the Lord shine his light on you. Yeah, I can't get in there. Why can I click on the button? I really shouldn't. They might burn. Oh, yeah. I don't think they burn, Kathy. Hmm. I wonder if I could talk with, uh... Lily Ma, uh... It looks like there's a small dock with a couple of boats. Okay, we have no reason to go there right now. Huh? There's a birdie. Oh, it's you again. Come on in. So nice that she's nice to me now. <laughs> Let's see if we could talk to her about certain things. No Nathan today? Nah, haven't seen Nate all day. Probably out in the woods. Lily, me. Is this how Nathan still sees himself? As a little boy? Wait a minute. I'm doing that already. The left half is torn off. Yeah, I, I, I know, and I... I'm doing that. Looks like Nathan knows the strange red man. I need to talk to him about this. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Well, that's new. A ball? Creepy, yeah. That must be Lily. She seems very happy looking up at the red man. Is this how Nathan... A bald man... Mm -hmm. Well, now that makes sense. Very lifelike. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. Hmm. Elk, by the looks of it. They're fairly common in Conwell Woods. Yes. Alright, let's talk with her. I had a, a few more questions, Sue. She. Alright. I don't need to ask her about that. Well, we don't. Did you know that somebody stole Lily's paintings from Wade? Huh? I knew he got robbed a few years back, but I, I thought he still had them all. No, well, that's news to her. Interesting. Do you know who the Red Man is? Oh, that's just Nate's imaginary friend. The Red Man has been around ever since my boy was little. I see. So there's no actual person in town he could be referring to? No way! According to Nathan, the Red Man hasn't changed in 30 years. Interesting. I wonder... Hmm. Well... The Red Man actually exists. I met him in the forest. What? 
That's crazy talk. Don't talk to me. I don't know any movie. Mm. Well, I kind of thought that would have been the response. Do you know anything about about Flower Hour? Sure. sure. Smoked it a few times back in the day, before it was endangered and all. Oh. Yeah. yeah. What was, what it, was like? it like? Similar, Similar to that. Strong, 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 more more unpredictable. Never touch the stuff after I got back pregnant. All right, all right. Yeah. My God, that man looks like a woman's picket. Wow, wow, really, really? Can you just explain it? It was like that tiny scene, just just like a woman, but the light flew over the lake. Wow. The rear tail and reaching up from beneath her dark tail to touch them. Forcing back our little tire, making the sky purple red. There were no other details to you, but that's what I'm talking about. Wow. Let's see that. Joseph Rain. Always so handsome. I had the crush on him that day. <laughs> and... No way. That's him. The man who bought the paintings. He's, he's much younger than you. There's no mistake in that hair and nose. Mm. Are you sure? I'm positive, little cat. That's the guy who walked into this camp and bought a iron and Interesting. That's very helpful, Sue. Thanks. What does that tell me? Oh, yeah, I think it was cock that Jimmy, wasn't it? No reason to show. No, no reason. I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back anytime. Mm -hmm. That has given us more information. Somebody around. <laughs> hmm. It's the penny I found in the briefcase. Looks like Grandpa and me, we had this game where he would hide pennies around the house and I would go on a treasure hunt. Hmm. Never in the attic, though. I thought it was too scary up there. Hmm. I doubt this coin does any good there. Hmm. That doesn't need. Oh well. I'm gonna figure out what that damn key is for. Mausoleum. Yeah, I know they are cheap. It's a small. That doesn't need a. Okay. So that obviously isn't it. Alright. wonder if I can ask a policeman about that. Oh, well, yeah, actually, I, I can go to police station. I'm gonna walk right into his office. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? 
<sighs> if you must. Yes, I must. Um... Do you know anything about the art theft in the Wade estate? Um, yes. Mr. Wade phoned ahead about that. Go oh, good. Lenny! Yes, boss? Get the report from the burglary in the Wade estate back in 86? On it, boss. There you go, Kathy. Thanks, buddy. I also want to ask him about a few more things here before I uh, look at the files I've, I've got to read. Ah! Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? <sighs> if you must. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? Nope. Okay. What's your opinion on the Church of the Holy Trinity? It's a fine church. I go there myself every Sunday. Oh. Okay. Do you know anything about a weird bald guy dressed in red around here? What the hell are you talking about? Never mind. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. That's all for now. Good. Okay. Okay. 3-11-86. The alarm in the way to stay is triggered. The house is empty at the time, and the neighbors contact law enforcement. Officers arrive at the scene. Several broken windows can be observed. A sweep of the estate and the surrounding premises reveal no perpetrators. A single witness identified as Franklin Goldfarb reported seeing multiple burglary burglars leaving the scene of the crime. Charles Wade arrives at Conwell Springs to make an official statement. After examining the house, he reports that, this, that paintings with the, an excess value of 15000 have been stolen. The art in question has not yet popped up in a circle. They are known to deal with stolen goods. They are known as terminating investigations due to lack of leads. Wait, 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 wait. Franklin Goldfarb. Stupid all the time. I gotta find this Goldfarb guy. Maybe he knows more about the burglary. Okay. Well, let's ask who Franklin is. Although I know who it is. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? <sighs> if you must. Does the name Franklin Goldfarb mean anything to you? Never heard of him. Anything else? Okay. That's all for now. Good. Franklin Goldfarb. Let's talk to Lenny. Hey, hey Lenny. Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Uh, Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? Not really, Kathy. Sorry. It's okay. Um, nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Yeah. How about this ribbon? Do you know anything about a weird bald guy dressed in red around here? You're joking, right? Oh, never mind. Does the name Franklin Goldfarb mean anything to you? Sounds familiar, but I can't place him. Okay! Well, gotta go. See ya! No, no. I ain't gonna worry about going back there. Franklin Goldfarb. Alright, we gotta find out who he is. I wonder who else I could talk to. Well, I know who he is. I played the original version of this. Canuck, canuck, canuck! I'm oh, back. it's you again! Come on in! I had a, a few more questions, Sue. She. Okay. We have a name. Does the name Franklin Goldfarb mean anything to you? You mean Goober? Nobody calls him Franklin anymore. Oh, that's Goober's real name? Gotcha. Wow! Well, now we know who Goober is! <laughs> Alright. I think I'm gonna head off. Sure thing. Now we have a name. <laughs> Goober. 
Looks like a specimen of the Red Scythe. It's endangered. I'm not going to take it without a really good reason. Okay. Nothing more here, then. Let's go back to the church. Talk to Isaac about Franklin Goldfarb. Hello, Isaac. I've got a few more questions for you. I'm all ears, my child. Okay. I'll ask about This the may sound strange, but have you heard of or seen a strange man dressed in red? Yes. Only our Lord and Savior Jesus. Surely his rags were drenched in blood as he lay upon the cross. Hmm. That's not what I meant. Uh, I mean someone here, in Conwell Springs. Hmm. Are you joking? I haven't seen a person like that, no. Okay. All right. Do you know who Franklin Goldfarb is? I'm afraid not, my child. Yeah. Sorry. I don't need to show- Okay. That's all I need for now, Father. May the Lord shine his light on you. I've already searched. I've already searched. Various books. Various. Hmm. What is this diagram again? I don't know. It looks like someone was doing geometry. I can't make much sense of it. Okay. I guess I'd check this out again. Alright, let's head into the living room and talk to Grandma Rain. Oh, hello, dear. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. Okay. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? He was a friend of Grandpa's. Yeah. I believe he teaches at the flight school these days. I don't think so, at least not anymore. I was told he was placed in a mental facility. Really? He always struck me as a kind man, maybe a bit nervous and on edge, but not crazy. There's yeah. more. I found out that Jimmy asked Grandpa for help not long before Grandpa ended up in that wheelchair. Mm. Jimmy sounded really desperate. I'm sure what happened to Grandpa that night had something to do with his cry for help. Mm. You should go find the man then. Surely he must know something. Yeah. That's the plan. I just wondered if there's anything else you think I should know about him. Not really. We haven't stayed in touch since Joseph was injured. Hmm. I know that he had a wife, Agatha, and a son, James. Agatha passed away from cancer years ago, but as far as I know, James still lives in the city with his family. Wow. Okay, thanks, Grandma. I don't see a reason to ask her about that. Okay, let's ask about that. I don't see a reason to ask... Does the name Franklin Goldfarb mean anything to you? Yeah. Oh, that poor man. He used to be an upstanding citizen, you know. Really? Now he's constantly drinking and keeps babbling on about that imaginary acting career of his. Hmm. Right. Goober. Alright. I don't want to show... Do you know anything about this flower, Grandma? I can't say that I do. I remember seeing it growing in the woods, but I didn't think much of it at the time. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do you see in this picture, Grandma? 
I have no idea, but it's quite an eerie display. What is it? I'm trying to figure that out. I found the picture hidden in the attic. Hmm. Oh, come to think of it, the trees do look similar to the ones in Conwell Woods. Yeah, it was taken somewhere in that area. I found out that the flower in the picture matches a rare local species. Hmm. Aren't you clever? Do let me know if you come across anything else. Okay. Do you recognize this key, Grandma? I found it in the attic. I'm afraid not, dear. Does this coin mean anything to you, Grandma? I'm afraid not, dear. All right. I don't want to. Sh so that's. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So long. There's something else I'm missing here. It has to be. talk to Wade again. See if maybe that's what I have to do is talk to Wade again. Oh. Wonder if I can talk to her now. I need a word, Miss Mendez. Mm. Wait, how do you know my name? It's written on that board behind you, genius. <laughs> you have the eyesight of a bald eagle or something? Eh, what can I say? I'm a freak of nature. What happened to Goober, anyway? Yeah. Who? The guy who had the... seizure? Oh, he ran off somewhere. Kept babbling about a religious near-death experience. Okay, thanks. Religious near-death experience, which means now if I go to the church, he's gonna be there and I can talk to him. Which is what I want to do. She wasn't going to let me go back up, I know that. There's Goober. Hello again, Goober. You again? Are you stalking me, girl? You pop up everywhere I go. I'll try to tone down the charm, but I can't promise anything. Huh, yeah, you're quite the charmer. Mm -hmm. I know! I just said that, man! Listen, I feel kind of bad about the electrocution. Oh, that's what it was! What a cherry on top of my stellar performance! Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was... Uh, pretty convincing. Yeah. So what brings you to the house of God? Come to repent? I'm afraid that ship has long since sailed, buddy. I had a few things I wanted to ask you about, though. Shoot, Missy! Shoot, Missy, okay. I don't need to ask. I should probably confront him directly about him being a witness. Okay. Your real name is Franklin Goldfarb, right? Oh, nobody calls me that. Regardless, I know for a fact that you were a witness to a burglary a few years back, at the Wade Estate? Yeah, what about it? Why don't you tell me what you saw exactly? I heard the alarm go off, glass break, and then I saw three guys running away, carrying a bunch of stuff. Hmm. What did they look like? It was dark, I don't know, they were definitely three big, bulky guys. They, uh... They what? Oh, nothing, that's it. Didn't see anything else. Bullshit, spit it out. Yeah. Well, one of those guys dropped his ring when running away. I sort of bonded. A ring? What kind of ring? Yeah. Platinum with an inscription. Two letters. B... something. Man, I don't remember. My photographic memory stopped working in 1979. Hmm. Which pawn shop was that? Pete's Pawning and Plumbing. It closed down a long time ago, though. Owner left town. There's a coffee shop back there now. Uh-huh. Too bad. Guess that's a dead end. Thanks anyway. Didn't I see two letters fitting that description recently? Not on a building. It was something small. Yeah. 
Did the inscription on the ring look anything like this? Yeah. Wow, actually exactly like that. Hmm. So what does that stand for? Any idea what BH stands for? Beehive? Bed high? Big head? <sighs> okay, well that... I don't need to ask him about... Alright. And, uh, don't have to ask him about anything else. I already asked... Okay, that's all for now. See ya! Well, let's see. Isaac, do you Hello, know what Isaac. I... Hello, Isaac. I've got a few more questions for you. I'm all ears, my child. child. So, do you know what BH means? Do you know what BH means? It's inscribed on this lighter. I'm sorry, but no. Thank you. Thank That's you. all I need for now, Father. May the Lord shine his light on you. Okay. Who might know? So let's head off to the cabin. Well, let's ask her. Seagull. Oh, it's you again. Come on in. Thanks, Sue. few more questions, Sue. She... Alright. BH. I don't need to ask her. Okay, guess we don't know. I think I'm good. Sure thing. Can I ask the police about BH? I love how the motorcycle's called the Catmobile. I don't think I'm going to get anything, but... Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Do you recognize the acronym BH? It's on this lighter here. Mm hmm, not really. Sorry. Okay. Lenny, well, you are not go. useful on that one. See ya. I'll ask the sheriff. Mr. Sheriff? Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. If you must. It's only one. Don't worry. Do you recognize the acronym BH? It's on this lighter here. Don't you have anything better to do than to walk around asking people random questions? <sighs> okay. That's all for now. Good. About as useful, well, he's understandably irritated on that one. I'll, I'll give him that. All right. Well, only other place to go for information. We have, uh, we can now ask. Because I believe this is going to be our last step here for the. F oh, he hello, dear. Yep. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. So, the BH. Do you recognize the acronym BH? It's on Dad's lighter. Yes, dear, it means the black hats. They're those ruffians on motorcycles whom your father associated with. Interesting. Oh, his biker gang. That makes sense. Hmm. What can you tell me about the black hats? Yeah. I refuse to talk about those hoodlums. They turned your father into a horrible person. You should stay far away from them, Kathy. <sighs> They're awful people, just awful. Okay. Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. We 
actually have information now. Now I know who they are. I want to get this information cleared up. Which means now I gotta go around and go asking people about the black hats. Let's see if uh, Lenny is more cooperative on this one now that I have a BH and I know what hey, the BH stands for. Hello, Kathy. What's up? What can you tell me about the Black Hats? They've caused us trouble from time to time, but they've been kind of quiet lately. We put a few of their captains in the slammer over the years, but we never managed to find enough dirt on their leader. Bo Brunson. Big Bo. Hmm. Do you know where I can find them? Yeah, hold on. Let me just find a map. Got it. Thanks. Now we have something. A new location added. Well, well, gotta go. Gotta go. See you. See ya. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna save that for the next time. I don't remember when I first went to the Back Hats when I played this game, uh, the, or the original version of this game, which is uh, Detective Sport. However, uh, we found a good deal of information. This is a good place to call it an ending. As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X Elder inviting you to subscribe to the channel and check out all the other playthroughs I've been working on. Uh, besides Kathy Rain, uh, the director's cut, I'm working my way through other games and series that premiere at 3 p.m. Uh, <clears throat> besides this, I am working my way through the Ancient Rare Core Designs timeline, currently on Chronicles. Uh, working my way through the uh, Sherlock Holmes franchise. I've been trying to do that in a chronological order, but with the newest, newest game out, uh, Chapter 1, I am jumped back to the beginning on that, of the timeline. Uh, working my way through Judge Dredd, Dredd vs. Death. Working my way through uh, Wake, first game. Working my way through... Uh, Unavowed, working my way through the Zork franchise in chronological order, currently on uh, Zork Grand Inquisitor. And I'm also working my way through the Less Manly series. Uh, currently on Less Manly in Search of the King. And a bunch of other things that premiere at 3 p.m. Eastern and daily in a two week cycle. In the mornings, uh, usually Tuesday through Saturday at 10 a.m., and sometimes on Monday, I have videos from here. Tuesday is usually uh, fic reading. Wednesday is Final Fantasy VII. Thursday is either Dead by Daylight or Monster Room 2. Friday is fighting game ladder modes now. And Saturday, well, is usually for a retrospective of a game I've beaten on the channel. Until next time, again, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich and X elsewhere. Please give this video a like. Please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, take care all. Bye!